what happens when you don't have a representation is that I go to card factory to get a birthday card for my sister and I come back with a picture of a meerkat. <laughs> because <laughs> that's because everything else, everything else is just a person or a family that just looks nothing like her. So I'm like, I mean, you can't go wrong with meerkats, I guess. I do, I do like meerkats a lot. We create greeting cards for people of different nationalities, ethnicities, disabilities, sexualities, you name it. <laughs> so I think she's the wisest by far. The bar is low. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. This pink mug actually got for my mom. As you can see, like, it's a, it's a cartoon character that looks nothing like her, blonde hair and everything. When the options are very limited or restricted, then you sort of have to accept what you're given, and I don't think that's the type of world that we should be living in. <laughs> Ever since I was young, I've always just been very much aware of the injustices which take place. And so I decided, you know what, let me go study law because what's better than an international human rights lawyer? But uh, my journey hasn't been as straightforward as I'd planned it. So this one was my first ever, and I mean first ever, greeting card. I ended up um, deciding, let me sell it at a store. I missed it because I was in a lecture, but Nyasha <laughs> managed to sell all of them. So it was just amazing arriving to find that people were really loving it and giving feedback, saying, we love the fact that, hey, it's a black woman, she's about to take an antidepressant, you know, it's reflective of the situation I was in at the time when I decided to start because I really wasn't enjoying law. It was making me depressed. I was um, constantly just sad. Hey, you don't love yourself. Who can love you back? The end of my first year of law, I ended up becoming ill. So I ended up having to retake that year. That's, that in itself ended up kickstarting the depressive period, which I ended up um, experiencing. My natural response then became to close myself off and retreat and hide myself from the world by going to sleep. And I would literally sleep for like hours on end. I just didn't want to be awake most of the time. Yeah, it was almost like feeling like I was choosing to struggle alone despite there being a, a really great support network from my family. But it almost felt embarrassing to say, Oh, I'm failing at this thing which I set myself out to do. Yeah. I guess it was the darkest period for me, hence why I ended up reverting back to art, because it was a really great coping strategy and I just needed that release or that outlet. I had brought with me a lot of different highlighters and pencils. It was just <laughs> to highlight textbooks and do my work. So I ended up creating really colourful, abstract pieces at times because those were the only materials available to me. Thinking that was going to be another hobby, it just catapulted and then from there I just started the business. Let me micromanage you. <laughs> Get that report done, that would be great. <laughs> getting the email saying 99 designs want to work with us They're doing a lego redesign it just seemed unbelievable and for a few days i still i mean even now i still don't believe it what is the thing you want to communicate with the logo right now that this is a black owned business owned by a black woman that's so sweet <laughs> The summer that I started at Verdana, my hair was natural. I decided to jump on the natural hair movement where black women were finally just out there celebrating their natural hair. I had like a really big afro and I'd always just tie it up in afro puffs. While they're quite childish, there's a lot of innocence within childhood and hence why I chose that yellow and the afro puffs. You know, kids themselves, they have nothing to worry about. And for once in my life, I just wanted to worry about nothing. Aula Diana began just with my sister designing and distributing all these cards, but now we're growing to become a platform welcome for everybody to create their own work and sell to all their friends and family so that anyone can feel included when they shop on our store. It's about destroying those barriers which currently exist, which don't really create a platform for minority artists or groups. 
and having the support of your company is just making sure that that happens. Like, there's no excuses not to get it done. So I'm really excited and so grateful. Took like 30 years, but I found myself. I'm running with these issues all around my health. I know it ain't nothing new. No, it's all been felt. I know I'ma get it right. No, I found my help. It's you. No exists with that dope dealer, that ghost stick up a cold killer. He weighed up prone, I pull that four finger. Body leave a soul, then you know the cold lingers. I will wake with some cold singers. These some cold winners, uh. Tell me where your people finding their identity.